After a trip to the round of 32 in the NCAA tournament last year, Little Rock's team was established. And now Little Rock's team has a Little Rock man to lead the Trojans. His name is Wes Flanagan. He knows what The Rock is all about, and he is ready to build on the foundation laid last year by Little Rock's team. This is The Wes Flanagan Show with host Gary Hogan. The Wes Flanagan Show is brought to you by Bale Chevrolet, The Butcher Shop, Angers Cleaners, Stevens Incorporated, Glazers Distributing, and seven of their finest brands. We urge you to drink responsibly. And Dillard's Department Stores, the providers of head coach Wes Flanagan's wardrobe. Here with Gary Hogan is the head coach of the Little Rock Trojans, Wes Flanagan. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first Wes Flanagan show. Happy New Year. Hope you had a great one. I'm here with the coach, and I'll tell you what, uh, we're off to a good start. I'm going to say that. Mm. You know, we, did, we had some issues. We'll talk about it later on with right. Louisiana. But uh, I think, um, and we're going to show this too, we've, got, we've had some great wins. Yeah, we and, definitely have. I mean, you look at, you know, St. Bonaventure, you look at Central Michigan, uh, both of those teams are playing really well. Uh, we had a good, good turnout and a good run down in Austin. Uh, I thought our guys got a lot better. I think we're still improving. Obviously, uh, you know, we had some disappointment in the last week and a half or so. Uh, but I think we're improving in some areas. Uh, we got to continue to improve. Uh, you got to be patient with this group. Uh, it's, it's the first part of conference season. Uh, man, and as the season goes along, uh, I think as the younger guys get better and we get a little tougher with ourselves um, and, and try to get through some tough moments when we're not scoring, uh, when we learn that, you know, we'll become a better team. Yeah, and I, and I think uh, people that have watched us will see that we're kind of in a slump. I, I got to relate it to baseball, yeah. you know, especially with Marcus Johnson. Right. You know, you, you as a hitter, you just tell them to keep, keep swinging. You know, <laughs> you, you keep swinging, folks. Right. And Marcus just has to keep shooting. Right. And well, he can't can't take yourself out of that. Right. Well, we told him, you know, going into the season, man, it's going to be different. Uh, and I think he's starting to understand that now. Obviously, he's moved up in the scouting report on everybody's list. Uh, you say I saw a Lafayette team to try to take him out of everything when he had the basketball. There was basically two people guarding him all the time. Right. And so he's got to learn to move the basketball, trust the offense, and maybe it opens up later for him. Uh, if he gets everybody involved early on, uh, we make some baskets and some other people score, uh, you know, that will relieve some of the pressure off of him. Okay, we are going to talk about early on. I want to show some Tulsa highlights here, and we'll go to the go to the video. It's one of our good wins. Definitely, you know, Tulsa came in as a really good team. Um, you know, we came out and we played hard. We changed some defenses up on them. Uh, you know, we went inside out. And I thought Oliver Black and Liz Soshi really, really uh, played well that game, and they kind of set the tone. Uh, man, and we came away with a win. Oliver Black is a guy that has, looks to me, you know, as a non-basketball guy, has improved since right. the start. Right. You know, Oliver's a guy that hadn't played a lot of basketball. You know, let's be Transfer honest. Transferred from Mississippi State. Yeah, even mm -hmm. through high school, right. even at Mississippi State, he hadn't had a lot of success on the court. Now, in practice, uh, he does some good things. But as he, as he gets to know our system and plays even more and has some success, you'll see him grow and develop at a, at a huge rate, I think. This win right here, I think, gave these guys a lot of confidence. Definitely did. You know, again, Conference USA team coming in here, uh, or American League team coming in here, uh, big, strong team, and, and we had our way with them a little bit. Uh, they made a run on us in the first half. We changed some things up, uh, but we were able to stick with it. Uh, we got some shots to go down. Uh, it all started with us going in the paint. Um, and and, and we, we came away with a win. Yeah, Marcus here with the ball, he's he is shooting well there, and right. then he continued to shoot well, right. and uh, there's Sochi hitting that shot. But, um, you know, uh, this this guy right here, this is your freshman, Andre right. Jones. Andre Jones, you know, yes. he's from Little Rock. Uh, he's a kid that's really talented. I mean, we, we did a heck of a job getting him here in our program last year. And he's another kid, you know, right now he's just a learning curve for him. Uh, he's starting to do some good things offensively for us by passing the ball. I thought he did some good things in the Lafayette game. Uh, we got to figure out a way to try to get him some more time. Uh, you know, he's a great athlete, unbelievable athlete, and I look forward to coaching him here the next four years, okay. next three years. All right, uh, we got our first conference win 
uh, over this past weekend, right. and it was on the 31st because we all <laughs> New, New Year's Eve, baby. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a good rate to celebrate that. <laughs> right. But uh, we took Monroe, had to go to overtime with them. Got right. these highlights, and uh, and this uh, this team right here, I, I thought we had them outsized. Right. Well, so she and, and all are black. Well, Coach Richard does a great job year in and year out. You know, he, this team is going to improve as the year goes along. Uh, they give us some problems because they play basically five perimeter guys and they spread us out, uh, putting our bigger guys at a disadvantage. But we hung tough. Uh, we were able to make some plays when we needed to in the second half. Uh, you see Stetson Billings right here making a jump shot. I mean, he, I, he's a big. Big, big uh, addition to our roster right now. He brings some toughness, you know, all of the back. Uh, starting to play well now by staying on the floor without fouling. Uh, but we made some shots when we needed to in this game. We got some stops when we needed to. And, you know, we end up uh, coming out with our first conference win. Right. You know, there's, there's, uh, that was Oliver right there. Right. And uh, nice pass by him. You know, uh, here we see there's Marcus creating. Right. And, and I think you've probably tried to tell him to do that more, haven't you? Yeah, he's got to be more of a downhill driver. Again, you got a lot of teams that staying on him and staying tight on his shot. Uh, when he comes off ball screens, a lot of times there's a lot of pickup coverage. Uh, so if he can get it down in the lane and find somebody that's a great pass by Marcus, there that leads to the basket. Uh, but, but, but we got to share the ball a little more. Um, and we got to keep Kimi Ose involved with his jump shot a little bit more, too. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, we. we we started out 1-0. We're 10 and 5 overall. Yep. And, and then we had to play Lafayette, who went into ASU and got beat, but right. made a run on ASU late in the game. Right. So we've we've got them now. They came out hungry, obviously. We are too. You know, right. I think I, I think that you know they they needed us, but we needed it too. Right. We just got outplayed that night. Well, that you know, awesome. everybody this time of year has some hope. You know, early in the conference right. season. Um, you know, everybody's going to have a little bit bigger fight to them than what they may have later in the year. Lafayette is one of the favorites in our league. Um, UTA is a really good team. And, uh, you know, let's just let's be honest. You know, they went to Arkansas State. They got a loss. And so their back was against the wall. They didn't want to go down 0-2 in the league play. Uh, I don't know if we came out with the same urgency. Uh, and I felt like we got frustrated a little bit on the offensive end by not making shots and not sharing the ball. Uh, we kind of got blinders on a little bit. Just guys just wanting to make plays for us. But we got to be a little bit more patient, share the ball, get a little better shot, uh, and be a little better defensively, too, for longer stretches. All right. And I think, uh, like we talked earlier, you know, some guys are struggling with a shot. Marcus. Yep. Kimmy was struggling a little bit. Right. And I think that's something that, that – it, you know, gets in their head, right. and then once they may start making a few shots, it gets out of it. Well, we kind of got Kimi Ose back a little bit right now. He's got his body language and, and stuff is really good. Yeah. He had pretty good practice yesterday. Uh, we got to get Marcus going a, a little bit. Uh, I think the big thing with him right now, again, is just trusting his teammates, trusting the offense, and early on in games, um, you know, he's got to find an open man. He's got to pass to the open man. Hopefully, right. late on in the in the in the uh, game. You know, things are loosening up a little bit for him where he can take over in the second half. All right. We also got to get him to smile a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah. Come yeah. on, Marcus, smile. Yeah, he, you know, he's a guy now <laughs> when he's uh, making shots, man, he's jumping off the roof, you know, yeah. and uh, that's a big part and of it. His defense is better, too. Yeah, he <laughs> loves to score the basketball, man. Yeah. And you saw that last season. Yep. Uh, and we just got to find a way to, to loosen the defense up for him a little bit where he can see that ball go through the net. All right. We have to take a break. Stay right where you are. We're going to come back with Sunbelt standings and just more on this basketball team. Okay, so it's a little off the beaten path, but the butcher shop is definitely worth the find, and your taste buds will agree. Choose one of the butcher shop's thick cuts of lean steak and cook it yourself. Watch it sizzle over the open flames on the grill, or let their chef cook it for you. Either way, it'll be the most taste-tempting steak in town. The butcher shop has other delicious menu items too, including chicken, salad, pasta, and more. The butcher shop, we're a lot more than just great steaks. You've seen the vans. Now here's the deal. Hangers Cleaners provides free pickup and delivery to your home or office twice a week. That's right, free delivery. Sign up now to save 20% on your first two months of cleaning. Hangers, to your door, won't cost a penny more. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? 
When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? You feel it in your heart, the spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927, helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university. Reason number 98, it's better at bail. Location, location, location. Right on Chanel in West Little Rock. Easy to find, easy to buy. Shop Bail Chevy on Chanel today and BailChevy.com. We're back and uh, we're going to the, come back and talk about the Sunbelt standings. If you're just tuning in, this is the West Flanagan Show. And uh, there they are. They popped them up for me. I said Sunbelt standings, and they came right up. God, that's amazing, isn't it? Well, See me push that button? Yeah, no, yeah. Doubt. no <laughs> doubt. Here you go. You've got UT Arlington right on top of 2-0. Uh, you know, they're pretty good. They got that guard back that got hurt last year. Well, he's actually a forward. You know, Herbie is a guy that's oh, on everybody's okay. draft board right now. He's yep. a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, kind of inside-out guy. Um, you know, they got most of their whole whole team back. They've got some great wins in the, in the non-conference slate. Uh, but you will see, you know, during the co course of this conference run uh, that a lot of these standards will change. It's still early. Uh, you know, it's important that you take care of home court. Uh, we wasn't able to do that in the Lafayette game. Now we got to focus on the road. We got two games on the road with Appalachian State and Coastal Carolina coming up. And we got to we got to go and, and try to steal two. That's definitely what we got to do right now. Yeah, and we, you know, you're going to face Appalachian State. They're 0-2. Um, obviously, they're going to be looking for that first win. You guys know that. Right. You've got to come out hungry. No doubt, no doubt. It'll, it'll be their first home game. They were on the road last week, and so they'll be hungry to get their first win in the column. Uh, we're going to have to have a mental toughness that we hadn't had this year to try to go get that win. Uh, it's going to be very important to us. Obviously, you got the altitude factor that's going to be there, and so we got to get in there, uh, get our guys hydrated, get them mentally ready to go in and, and, and fight for 40 minutes. All right, uh, we play Appalachian State on Saturday afternoon. And then we go to Costa Carolina on Monday, and that's going to be something for you because you're going to face Cliff Ellis, who coached you at Auburn. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. Um, obviously, you know, during the course of the game, you know, both coaches with both competitors are going to be trying to win the game. But hopefully, uh, maybe after the game, I can share a minute with Coach, and uh, you know, we can talk about a few things. Um, it's, he's one of probably the, one one of the more underrated coaches in college basketball, one of the winningest all-time coaches in college basketball, and. Uh, you know, hopefully I can get the win and maybe rub it in his face <laughs> a little can, bit. You can shake his hand and smile at it. <laughs> right. Okay, we're going to go to a break. Stay right where you are. You've seen the vans. Now here's the deal. Hangers Cleaners provides free pickup and delivery to your home or office twice a week. That's right, free delivery. Sign up now to save 20% on your first two months of cleaning. Hangers, to your door, won't cost a penny more. Okay, so it's a little off the beaten path, but the butcher shop is definitely worth the find, and your taste buds will agree. Choose one of the butcher shop's thick cuts of lean steak and cook it yourself. Watch it sizzle over the open flames on the grill, or let their chef cook it for you. Either way, it'll be the most taste-tempting steak in town. The butcher shop has other delicious menu items too, including chicken, salad, pasta, and more. The butcher shop, we're a lot more than just great steaks. heart the spirit of little rock we've had that spirit since 1927 helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state we are the heart of business and innovation the heart of politics and government the heart of arts and culture and in our city beats the heart of a trojan ualr we are little rock's team and little rock's university 
Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Reason number 88, it's better at bail. Oil changes for life. Yep, purchase any new or pre-owned vehicle and get free oil changes for as long as you own the car. Just another reason it's better at bail. Shop Bail Chevy on Chanel today at BailChevy.com. You feel it in your heart. The spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927. Helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university. Okay, we are back and I want to bring up uh, something we did last year I thought was really interesting. We're going to do it again this year and you were part of this when the, I'm interviewing you now, but last year I think a player interviewed you okay. and uh, got the, got, they got a chance to ask their questions. Okay. Maybe find out why they weren't playing, I don't know. <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> <laughs> we played a lot of guys last year. Uh, oh, so. you did play a lot of guys, you know. And uh, we we probably uh, I know at this point in time we miss Roger, we miss we miss Josh Higgins. Miss a lot uh, of those guys, yeah. you know. Jermaine Rudley. Yeah. I mean, let's talk let's talk about Jermaine Rudley and just his toughness and his determination. I mean, yeah, that was he did, transferred in from Florida. Came State. in from Florida A and M, averaged yeah. seventeen points a game there, right. and just his unselfishness and his toughness, man, fed on the rest of our team. He gave himself up, gave his points up, man, for everybody. And that fed into our team. And you saw a team that was very unselfish last year. You had a you had a team that, you know, showed a certain amount of determination and toughness. And it all kind of stemmed from him. At the end of the year, he was really one of our vocal leaders, if not our vocal leader. And uh, we miss him right now, uh, as well as Raj, as well as Josh, especially late in games when he guys to make plays. Right. Uh, but, you know, as we continue to develop and grow, uh, I think we'll have some guys that'll step into those roles. You know, obviously Marcus Johnson and Liz. We got to get Marcus going a little bit from a scoring standpoint. I think that'll help the rest of our game, the rest of his game, and the rest of our team. Um, and we got to consistently get Liz to continue to be a, a, a presence down inside. Uh, I think he's been there for the most part all year. He struggled a little bit against Lafayette, but we'll we'll get that fixed and we'll go into Appalachian State with a chance to win. I think. You know, and, and also one of the things you're going to develop before we get to this interview is uh, the rest of your bench. Definitely. You know, definitely. You're, you're DeAndre Burns and right. Andre Jones right. and Oliver's coming off of there. Right. Um, and maybe, I don't know, you might go down a little bit further. You still have Pippins. He's played this year already. So, right. you know, uh, some of those guys have to help you in the end coming down the street. Oh, yeah. I think you're starting to see Burns, you know, be a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, he's playing a little bit out of position right now. We would like to have him off the ball more, uh, but he's on the ball some, uh, you know, especially with the uh, Deshaun Watkins injury. Um, and so he's getting a little more comfortable uh, playing out of position. And obviously, Oliver Black now, uh, you've seen the last few games where he's played well. He had a double-double against Monroe. Uh, early on in the year, he was in foul trouble a lot due to rustiness, due to, uh, you know, just a change in the game. It's a little different, you know, playing in the SEC. It's a little more physical than, you know, playing in the Sun Belt and against some of the teams we played against. Now he's the biggest, strongest guy. And so any little touch foul early in the year, he was getting called for. You know, now he's starting to make the adjustment. Uh, now we got Stetson Billings back in the fold. He'll bring a certain uh, level of experience and toughness to our team. Um, and so we just got to continue to, you know, grow and develop. Andre Jones is starting to play a little better and understand what we want on the offensive and defensive end. Uh, well, I just got to be patient with this group. Uh, hopefully they'll, you know, stay true to the process, man, and keep believing in what we're trying to do. Um, and, and later on in the year, we'll be a factor, you know, when it comes tournament time. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we have Brandon Brady, one of your guards, okay. and uh, well, he's going to interview Mitch Cole. Let's take a look. 
Hello, welcome to the Coaches Show. Uh, I'm Brandon Brady. I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas, former Pulaski Academy basketball player. I'm here with Coach Cole. How are you feeling today, Coach? I'm feeling great, Brandon. How about you? Good, good, good. I got a couple questions for you. Uh, how do you think the season's been going so far? Well, I think we got off to a bad start with our loss to Idaho, but I think we bounced back in Austin winning that tournament. I think the guys have improved every week, and you know, everybody seems to be working hard and having a good time playing, playing together. Good, good. What are you looking for most in, in, in the rest of the season? Like any games or in the schedule? Well, I think the biggest thing for us as coaches is to try to improve every day. Uh, you know, if we can improve and get better each week and, and, and kind of gear ourselves toward conference play, that's, that's important to us. But, you know, we're looking forward to the next game. I know that's cliche for coaches to say, but going on the road at uh, Oral Roberts in Florida, those would be some big games for us. Coming up. I got a few questions that's kind of off. All right. Um, during the holidays, how do you like to celebrate Christmas? Man, I usually celebrate it with my family. I've got three kids, and uh, man, they're all into Christmas. It's their favorite time of the year. So my little one, of course, will be doing the Santa Claus thing. Uh, the other ones will just be together as a family. We'll go to church. We'll celebrate, give some gifts, and hopefully do something for somebody else at some point. But uh, yeah, the holidays are fun for us. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that'll be it for me and Coach Cole today. Uh, Hold on, Brandon. I've got a question for you, man. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Right. You're not going to escape this. So, um, you know, this, this goatee you got going on right here, man, do, do the ladies like that or do they just kind of frown upon that thing I, right I there? think they like it. Uh, uh, I, I'm pretty good with the ladies, so I think they like it. Charming personality. <laughs> yeah, charming. Yeah. What about your height, man? Do they use that against you? A little no, bit? they don't. They don't at all. Are you sure? Uh huh. I okay. just approach them, and uh, it's all easy going for me. All right. Good. <laughs> good to hear. Well, coach, uh, thanks for being here with me today. Uh, we had some fun. Uh, I hope to see you guys at the Jack Stevenson Center this year. Let's go, Trojans. <laughs> <laughs> Heights, heights. Use it against him. <laughs> you know, uh, Brandon, man, he's a great kid, man. You talk about a guy that comes to work every day, man, brings the same effort. Um, you know, he hadn't gotten to a game uh, much this year, but every day he comes out and he tries to compete and make our guys better. Um, you talk about a guy that was actually a manager last year. Um, and he came to our program. He said, Coach, I'll do whatever I need to do to be a part of the program. And he stayed true to that. Um, you know, he's a wonderful kid to coach, wonderful kid to be around, great personality, and he's a really good student. And so we're happy to have him on our roster, especially with him being a Little Rock kid. Okay. Now, uh, another part of our show, we've got a social media question for you. And this was submitted by Alex Norman. And there's his handle right there at <laughs> Coach APN. I guess that's what that is. I'm not big on the Twitter stuff. I don't know. Yeah. There it is. What one coach had the biggest impact on your life besides your father? And then we'll, uh, uh, and what did he do that was so impactful? And we'll talk about your dad here in a second. Well, we, I've, I've worked for a lot of different coaches, played for a lot of different coaches, and all of them have impacted my life to a certain extent in a lot of different ways, whether it be off the court, on the court, um, you know, just in everyday life or whatever. But uh, I would probably say the biggest, the biggest guy uh, was Steve Shields. You know, Steve Shields, uh, who was our coach here for a while, gave me my first opportunity in Division I. Um, you know, he let me grow and develop as a young assistant coach, uh, you know, let me get out and work and recruit and coach on the floor uh, and gave me opportunity, man, to get into this business. And so for him to do that, um, you know, I'm very grateful to this day and we're still really, really close friends. Let's talk about your dad a little bit. Al Flanagan, <laughs> head guy at Parkview. Yeah. And uh, what kind of impact has he had on you? Well, he was a day, he was a guy every day, man, that I was able to, you know, sit back and watch and listen to and, um, you know, learn from. Um, uh, some of the things that, you know, I, I teach today to the younger guys are some of the things he taught me. Uh, you talk about, you know, the toughness and you talk about perseverance, uh, you know, and, and being a, you know, role model in, in the community. Um, you know, he goes right to the top of the list with anybody in our state. Uh, and so I'm, 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 I'm very fortunate uh, the way I was brought up uh, to have him, uh, him and my mother. And uh, he's done some great things here in our community for a lot of different kids and families. And, uh, you know, obviously he is, he's kind of at the end of the rope, I think one or two more years, and, and he may 
uh, go home to be with mom and try to enjoy life a little bit. But uh, at the end of the day, he's won championships, but, he, but he's impacted a lot of lives here in our city, and he'll continue to do that. Okay, that he has. And uh, we've got about a minute here left. I, w I want you to see this because maybe you should show this to your players. I don't know if they've seen it or not. Solomon Bozeman, who hit a big shot for us in 2011, got us to the NCAA tournament. Yep. He was a guard. He's now one of your assistants. He went off and did some work other places. You brought him back home. And uh, he played in the MBDL yep. for a little bit. So we have a video of him, I guess you'd call it posterized. Man, uh, Takes the shot, no good. Rebound, Hassan <laughs> Whiteside. Uh, Back come the Vipers. Here comes right Royce there. going to the hole. Oh. <laughs> we don't even let the fellas see that one. <laughs> Did he, was that a block? I think that's a charge. I think you got to give it to him. Now. Charge, you got to get. Was, did he, I, I don't know. He was throwing his hands up at the end here. I, I think that's a charge. I don't know if he got the call or not, but that's a charge. Uh, obviously, you got to have a, a lot of character and determination to step over and make that play. That's something that we worked on yesterday. It's kind of funny that you show that, but we worked on that that individual play yesterday, just giving our bodies up, being unselfish. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy, man, to have him in our program. Now, I always had the vision at some point, uh, whenever I became a, a head coach, man, to bring guys back into our program that had played. And so to have him and, and Brandon Patterson in our program being mentors to our guys, um, it, it was a great opportunity for me to do. And uh, those guys are working their tails off. And he'll, he'll be a great coach at some point, be a head coach, be able to coach his own program. Okay, we have to go. They're <laughs> wrapping us up, coach. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. See you next time. The West Flanagan Show has been brought to you by Bale Chevrolet, The Butcher Shop, Hangers Cleaners, Stevens Incorporated, Glazers Distributing, and seven of their finest brands. We urge you to drink responsibly. And Dillard's Department Stores, the providers of head coach Wes Flanagan's wardrobe. Go Trojans! Reason number 88, it's better at bail. Oil changes for life. Yep, purchase any new or pre-owned vehicle and get free oil changes for as long as you own the car. Just another reason it's better at bail. Shop Bale Chevy on Chanel today and BaleChevy.com. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927, helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university.